Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and this is part two of painting the fatties from Zombie Side Second Edition, where we're going to actually be adding contrast paints on top of those shaded minis. Again, we're going to be going with the Necrotic Flesh, the Gray Seer, the Wraith Bone, and the uh, Scar White. So we're starting off here with some Luxian Purple on the beautiful dress of this one. So what we're going to be actually doing is the all the same fatties. We're going to be putting the contrast on that one and they technically if i'm not mistaken i did make a mistake for once and they all have a different primer so it'll be the exact same model but putting the exact same contrast on top of these different shaded miniatures now here is my question to you guys should i have actually started with the contrast paints leaving the areas of the skin that i wanted to be zombie like and then put on the shades I think your answer is going to be probably yes, because a lot of these, I noticed the shade, the contrast just completely covers the shade anyways. The only difference is it does is that it kind of gets darker in the recesses where there was more shade pooling. Uh, maybe like this one here, the white part or the lighter areas pop a little bit more than the shaded areas. So this has got the soul blight underneath it on this one. You can see that easily there. Uh, it's all soul blood, I think. No, not soul blood. But it's all different kind. Anyways, I, yeah. Uh, so, anyways, what do you think? And here we're using Storm Fiend on the jacket of the second fatty. So we're gonna be painting all this fatty up again here. Here you can see some of the green pop through. Uh, this was um, the Pox Walker with the necrotic flesh. This is, I think, the soul blight on the gray seer. Uh, once again, I think. I would have liked to try putting the contrast paints then the shade that might come in future zombie videos i got all the walkers to do for zombie side 2.0 and i'm still working on massive darkness too uh, unless at the time that you're watching this video i'm actually done those who knows i mean this could be popping up in your feet a year from now uh, anyways if you haven't seen a massive darkness once or onk or any of the other ones i painted take a look at my channel and if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and if you like these videos hit that like button so as you can see again, the Storm Fiend here, it does a pretty good job covering. It's a beautiful paint. Uh, a lot of these uh, contrast paints I haven't used yet, actually. I think this one I might have used, but like very briefly on the runners. Uh, so with these fatties, they got a lot more details, a lot more crevices, so it really shows. Garagak Sewer now, we're doing the axe and his belt, or the handle anyways. And again, it shows the difference on top of the different shades, on top of the different primers. Uh, some are a bit darker, some are a bit lighter. It's pretty cool. Black Legion now, we're doing the pants. Uh, of course, this Black Legion, like I've used, said before, it's not very contrasty. However, the green, though, does pull through a little bit. You do see it a little touch, and it creates a, sort of that. And then with the lighter primers, uh, it kind of lightens the Black Legion a bit. It actually like turns it a little bit more gray. You see a little bit more decreases, especially on this one here. Uh, because there's a lot more details on these miniatures again, the contrasts are working at their best. Like if you put on a flat surface, it's not the greatest, but on here you can see like the crease of the pants. You see all the difference uh, in the layers and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool. Uh, again, still not sure if it was a good idea putting the shade on before. I mean, I don't know. I really want to show what the shades do on different primers. That was more my excuse. Frostheart now, we're doing this on the shirt. Uh, so he has this nice little shirt underneath. This is a security guard, by the way. Uh, you'll notice that a little later when I paint that part in the highlights, and that is in part three. So stay tuned for that video as well. All right, and the final one is Svalg Burgundy, Sigvold, and this is for their ties, or his tie. And as you can see, again, it's on different shades. So which one of these looks better? You know, difference. It's all, it's all in perspective. All right, we're going to be painting off now the ballerinas, and this is Doomfire Magenta. This is going to be for her top. Uh, just be careful with those straps, which I noticed later that those were supposed to be painted with the highlights, not even with the contrast, so I kind of made a mess out of some of those. Uh, as you can see, on some of them it gets very dark, other ones it'll be a little bit lighter on top of these shades. But again, this, is, this pink, or this magenta, shows what's underneath. So if it's darker in an area, it will be darker. If it's lighter in an area, it will be lighter. So you can see like in the crevices and all that, because this one I find is very plain, this contrast. If you don't have a shade under or especially on top of it, uh, it's just magenta. It's like a paint. It, it doesn't, I find it doesn't do a good job as a contrast paint. Uh, it does more like a, you know, like a base. 
uh, Croxagore Scales. Now, I've never used this one yet. And this is going to be for her tutu. I think, is that what it's called, folks? I have no idea. Uh, that thing there. Uh, we're going to be putting that around there on top of all these different shades and uh, uh, contra uh, I should say, sorry, primers and that. So you can see with this really green one. So I think this is the Poxwalker one. Uh, this one covers up really well and again this one kind of shows a little bit more of the dark shading areas and the lighter areas um, and on this one uh, I think this is the Mortarian Grime on top of the I think this is a uh, Gracier uh, or Wraithbone even I'm not even sure anymore <laughs> so if you guys are lost just as much as me just pay attention to what the contrast do pretty much uh, and of course I have sped this up quite fast. I went into eight times the speed because I didn't want you guys to just sit here boringly look at the same thing over and over. I just wanted you guys to notice any differences you might see with the different shades and the different primers using these contrast paints. I'm using a little bit of Magos Purple now on the underwear and her little uh, ballet slippers. Now the underwear was fun with this Magos Purple since it's so uh, transparent almost it makes it look like the underwear very well stretched and you can still see her buttocks and so I like that the slippers could have been a little bit more darker maybe I should have went with another purple or something else but it still works out and here I accidentally caught some of the blue that wasn't dry yet uh, the Croxagore scales or whatever it's called and yeah so there you go I mean so you can see on one of them especially the second one there where the pink stays pink there's like no details whatsoever all right, moving on to the next fatty. This is the coach. Uh, we're starting with some Sigor Brown on his boots there. And then we actually changed the look of this. Now, they showed him with a blue shirt and they showed him with jeans. I went with the jeans, but I went with a green shirt instead. And we'll show you what color that is later. Uh, so again, you can see the contrast paint just pretty much covers up the shade. It did absolutely nothing to have the shade underneath. Especially with the Sigor Brown, uh, it made no difference. The primer comes through either with or, or you put the shade on before or after. So, again, should the shade go on after, more than likely, everyone's going to be like, why did you put shades on first? Why did you do that? Anyway, the, the point was to show you what it did. Frost Heart, we've already used this on the, sh on the shirt a while ago, but now I really want to show you on the pants because there's a lot more details on these pants, and this gives a good gene effect. And with this necrotic flesh on the bottom, and uh, I don't even know what shade is on that, it actually works really well and it actually does a good job and this one is kind of lightish so you can see again where the shading has an effect where the uh the primer comes through these are this is a good color i like this color frost heart awesome good contrast paint works really well uh you can see on the lighter ones here it makes it actually lighter jean like color i find and gives a lot of details that pop through don't forget those little belt buckles there and uh so on and on this one it's actually pretty cool too uh, it kind of gives like a dirty pant look almost and some of the lighter colors come through the shade actually works in favor on this contrast because it's so light and it works like a contrast it's not like just a paint I got us doing is just to do his dirty underwear they're showing through the pair of pants here it's just like one strip you can do that very quickly uh, I got some of the blue there mixed it up so it's fine rattling grind now we're gonna be doing this for his belt uh, just go around that whole area as you can see on the different uh, shades and the different uh, primers, it does a different uh, look. So that's what we're trying to go for here. Just seeing what shades, what primer works well. Uh, to be honest, I love the gray sear and the white scar. Necrotic flesh, it's okay, but eh. I don't know if I would use it that often for a contrast. Uh, now we're using, uh, what's that weird? It's, uh, Aldari Emerald, yeah, that's it. Uh, very bright green, but looks perfect for the shirt. And look at the brightness that it comes out with the lighter um, shades and lighter um, primers. Just great, like, again, should the shade have gone on top of it, probably would have made it look more dirty looking, more grimy, more zombie-like. Uh, so, you know, what do you want? I already did it this way. And we're gonna say Leviathan Purple. I've actually never used this one. We're doing this on, I think, is like a scarf of some sort or like a handkerchief. Anyway, so there you go. Those ones are done and all of them are ready for the table. Not ready for the table yet. That is coming in part three. Well, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.